Western Digital have just launched this, the WD Black SN770 M.2 PCIe NVMe SSD. This model is a purpose-built gaming drive boasting a PCIe Gen 4 interface that delivers speeds of up to 5,150 megabytes per second read and 4,900 megabytes per second write. That's a step down from the peak speeds of the top of the range SN850, but this drive will also come with a lower price point. In real world, we are expecting to see a close race between the two. WD Black dashboard software allows you to put your drive into gaming mode too, which will help to optimize peak performance and monitor your drive's health over its lifespan. And that's backed by a five-year limited warranty, the same as the more expensive SN850. So with the core specs out of the way, let's see how this new contender performs in the real world with some benchmarking. And first up, we're gonna use Crystal Dismark to do a synthetic benchmark. This allows us to see the potential speed of the drive without any bottlenecks. As you can see, the SN770 performs true to its claims with both the read and write speeds actually slightly higher than the advertised potential speeds. Naturally, each drive will be slightly different, but it's good to see that ours is comfortably over the spec sheet, as it does mean that we shouldn't really see any that are significantly under. And it's also a good representation of the kind of speeds that are possible under the right circumstances. It should affect how your system performs tasks like loading game levels or assets and general snappiness of loading your favorite apps and programs. Moving on, and you'll know that we like to do some real world tests too. This is the speeds that you can easily see yourself for things like moving folders from one drive to another. Now these won't hit the same speeds as the Peak, but comparing these with other drives will give you an idea of real world speeds rather than the Peak. And generally, the faster an SSD can perform these tasks, the higher quality the components that are used in making it. For all of these tests, we used a one terabyte version of each of the SSDs and we tested them on our 3XS PCIe Gen 4 system featuring an AMD 5900X and Asus X570 motherboard. First up, we tested the transfer of two video files equating to around 8GB from our system drive over to the SN770. The peak transfer speed here was 3GB per second and didn't drop much throughout, giving an average speed of 2.85 and a total transfer time of just three and a half seconds. No complaints there. Now compare this to the higher model SN850, and you can see the speeds are slightly higher with a total transfer time of three seconds. The lower end SN570 does a great job of keeping up here too, owing to its high speed caching being able to swallow the full eight gigabyte file. Next, we transferred a 32 gigabyte video file over, and here we see it steadily works through to 40%, with speeds between 2.4 and 2.7 gigabytes per second. However, at that 40% mark, performance dropped to as low as 1.14 gigabytes per second before slowly creeping back up to 2.8, giving us a total transfer time of 14 seconds, exactly four times the eight gigabytes files, so it showed no real signs of struggle with the bigger file. This same test with the SN850 took just 12 and a half seconds, so no big surprise there but it does show just how close the SN770 is real world. For the cheaper SN570 though, we did see a significant drop in speeds, with it really struggling after 20 gigabytes, dropping to just 580 megabytes per second, and a total transfer time of 31 seconds. Which is not a bad thing overall, as it means that if you aren't often copying large files, then the cheapest SSD here could be a great option for everyday use. So how about a game then? Well, like our previous SSD benchmark videos, we copied a 60 gigabyte game folder, which has lots of different file sizes and types within it to see how that did. The SN770 flies through this transfer, hitting a peak speed of 3.27 gigabytes per second and averaging out at about 2.54 gigabytes per second, giving a total transfer time of just 21 seconds. The higher end SN850 was actually slightly slower this time around and took 23 seconds. However, this is within a margin of error for this type of test, so technically this is a draw between the two SSDs. And up against the 570, it walloped it by a whole 56 seconds. So what's the conclusion for the new SN770? Well, it looks to be an excellent option. It should cost less than the top end SN850, 
and in all but the very peak speeds, it offers pretty much the same performance, or at least so close that it isn't really noticeable. So basically, if you're not bothered about the bragging rights of having the fastest SSD available, then it's likely you could save yourself a little money and go for the SN770. You can find out further information about this range on the SCAN website. And don't forget, you can also use our comparison tool to check out the specs side by side at scan.co.uk.